Now, can someone tell me why in 1975 we pulled our troops out of Vietnam? The failure of Vietnamization to win popular support caused an ongoing erosion of confidence in the various American but illegal Saigon regimes. Is she right? Because I know that's the popular version of what went on there. I know a lot of people like to believe that. I wish I could, but I was there. I wasn't here in a classroom, hoping I was right, thinking about it. I was up to my knees in rice paddies with guns and Edward going up against Charlie, slugging it out with him, while pussies like you were back there partying, putting headbands on, doing drugs, listening to the goddamn Beatle albums. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, Professor, take it easy, will you? I mean, these kids, they were in grade school at the time. And me, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. <laughs> well, I didn't know you wanted to get involved with the discussion, Mr. Helper. But since you want to help, maybe you can help me, OK? You remember that thing we had about 30 years ago called that Korean conflict? Yeah, where we failed to achieve victory. How come we didn't cross the 38th parallel and push those rice eaters back to the Great Wall of China and take the work and break brick and nuke them back into the fucking Stone Age River? How come? Tell me why? Say it! Say it! All right, I'll say it. Because Truman was too much of a pussy wimp to let MacArthur go in there and blow out those cummy bastards. Good answer. Good answer. I like the way you think. I'm going to be watching you. A good teacher. He really seems to care. About what, I have no idea. 